This is Twit. Tesla has ranked dead last on Consumer Reports' reliability list. Oh, almost dead last. Almost dead last. What's last? What's the um, last one? Twenty seventh out of twenty eight. Only Lincoln, Ford's luxury brand, uh, comes out worse. Hmm. Most of it has to do with the overall instability of electric vehicles in general, SUVs, which Consumer Reports' Jake Fisher said during a presentation of the absolute bottom in terms of reliability. That surprises me, actually. My experience with electric vehicles is they're more reliable. They're certainly a lot simpler uh, oh. than uh, ICE vehicles. You don't have to go to oil changes or anything like yeah. that. Yeah, uh, they're virtually zero maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, Consumer Reports surveys... Owners of vehicles. In fact, I get that survey every year as a member. 300,000 vehicles from model year 20, 2000 to 2021. Uh, they use that data to make predictions about models uh, and their reliability history. Battery-powered electric vehicles, a bigger segment of this list this year than ever before, and their reliability ratings varied widely. But hmm. gas electric hybrids among the most reliable vehicles uh, overall, possibly because many of these electric vehicles are new to the market, right? So they're, you know, yeah, I think, sure. I think, I think they're new to the market, and also um, a lot of the build processes for for building them are still sort of, you know, halfway sort of still in beta. I mean, there's quite a lot of um, if you if you spend a lot of time on on car TikTok as I do, um, <laughs> car talk. <laughs> because um, I'm down with the kids like that. Um, you see a lot of, um, of, you know, people taking deliveries of their first Teslas and, you know, the plastics inside are moving around and the headlamps are fogging up. Yeah. And, you know, um, you know, if you put a ding in one of your doors, it's a six month back order to get a new door because you can't just beat it out like a normal panel. So I think that it feels a lot like Tesla is doing a very good job of of getting more cars out in the market quickly but that the build quality is sort of is slightly lacking as they continue to refine those processes yeah. i mean we've got to think that you know ice vehicles have been being built for you know 100 years at this point and tesla's been building cars for what 10 maybe yeah well not just that they're notorious for inserting new parts in the middle of the stream so they get an upgraded steering wheel or button or whatever and they'll just put it in the line instead of sticking with the same formula yeah. for the like model year of the vehicle. And so they'll throw that in. But I love hearing, Will, that you're into CTT, which is great. Car TikTok. <laughs> Car TikTok. Jake it's Fisher between, Senior. Between that and the terror and, and, and a lot of um, a lot of air fryer recipes. Cars and air fryers <laughs> have become my TikTok algorithm. <laughs> air fryer. <laughs> See, I I am on the Kitchen Confidential subreddit in which they mock air fryers as being convection ovens with an extra fan. So, you know, you just there's a battle now going on in social media. Jake Fisher, senior director of auto testing at Consumer Reports, said there's uh, electric drivetrains aren't so much the problem. He told CNBC, uh, unnecessary high tech bells and whistles are the things that 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 seem to fail a lot. Um, How about software software performance on these? Because they're constantly being updated, right? But I'm just wondering if if they're you know about, about bugs and, and stuff in new you know, software. I owned a Tesla Model X. It was very early in the production run. It, it was very it was fine. There were a couple of reliability issues, but nothing spectacular. No, nothing worse than any other vehicle. And I love my Tesla, but it was stories like this that made me think maybe I shouldn't buy another. Tesla. I ended up getting a Ford Mach-E electric vehicle, and that's apparently kind of in the middle of the reliability mm -hmm. uh, band, although I think it's early. It's only been out for uh, less than a year. Um, mm -hmm. Consumer Reports said commonly reported issues from the new Model Y owners include defective sensors that had to be replaced, problems with heat pumps, air conditioning, body panels that didn't line up. That's been a consistent problem. A fit and finish for a Tesla for a long time. Water leaks in the trunk due to missing seals. We did have that problem because I had the Falcon wing doors. Lisa hated that car, by the way. She, but the other reason I didn't buy another Tesla is Lisa said, like, over my dead body. But the, the they had the Falcon <laughs> wing doors, and you never wanted to open them in the rain because it was designed in such a way that the rain would collect at the top of the door. And when you opened it up, it would just water fall in. It was great. <laughs> it, was, it, was just, it was just bad design, you know? Um, Owners reported a variety of electrical and hardware issues with the higher price and less popular Model S and Model X Falcon Wing. Older models fare better in reliability because 
companies tweak and redesign to solve problems. But Tesla deviates from this approach. <laughs> this is what you were saying. Uh, this is Fisher talking. At almost random times during the year, Tesla will switch major components, suppliers, or sensors and other units. The more you change, the greater chances you're going to have some problems. Absolutely. As, That's what as, I've heard. As the great Marcel Proust said, la plus ça change, the greater the chances you're going to have some problems. Uh, that makes that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that was exactly what he said. He said exactly right. Uh huh. The See? more you change in the middle of a model year, the more likely you are to get build reliability issues. Marcel Proust. I, I didn't get an English public school education, but I know my Proust. 